What's popping YouTube? It's your girl Jay, and I'm back to pop my sh again. If you are new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, like, share, and comment. Also, check the description box below to follow me on all socials, TikTok, Instagram, and also check out outloudllc.org so you yes you can get you a mental health coloring book journal a pen stickers and more you guys can tell by the title today is going to be a solo day vlog you guys i am going to be going on a solo day today and just taking time to appreciate myself you guys i have reached 10,000 followers yes 10k on tiktok you guys that's the reason why you guys haven't been seeing me on here i've been putting so much work into my tiktok just making sure i'm building there just because um i feel like it's just kind of been a little bit easier for me since i've been doing youtube for so long and um, it's just kind of like I got to start from ground zero here, but you know, I've been told y'all I'm gonna give y'all a video every week. So don't count me out yet, but, um, I have been working very, very hard on my content and I just want to take time to appreciate myself. I know I'm not re really where I want to be in my content creation journey, but I have came a long way. You guys, I have seen so much growth in my content on all platforms. You guys, not just TikTok on Instagram here on even on YouTube. You guys, I have just been really just putting in the work and I really want to give myself a day to just appreciate myself to celebrate. I actually wasn't going to do anything because I'm just like, OK, it's 10,000, you know, whatever. But that is a huge accomplishment because I don't have I have haven't reached 10,000 followers on anything like and I've been doing content for almost eight years. So that is a very, very huge accomplishment for me. It just lets me know that, hey, I'm working, I'm grinding. So, yeah, I will be going on the solo date um, and just, you know, taking time out for myself and just to kind of get out the house because I spend a lot of the time either at the gym or here at the house working on content and things like that. So. Um, today's agenda will be, um, I'm going to be doing me a braided ponytail. I haven't done one in a while, but y'all, I've been wearing my real hair, as y'all can tell by the last video. And if you've been following me on TikTok, make sure y'all follow me on TikTok, because I post on there, like, every day. But, um, you guys will see me here every week. But for, so for the solo day, um, after I finish doing my hair and makeup, I will be leaving, and then I will be going to, I guess I'm probably going to go color in my coloring book first, you guys. I just want to go to the park and kind of just sit, play some music music and coloring my mental health coloring book definitely make sure you guys get that from outloudllc.org it'll be linked down below in my link tree if that's what you see my link tree but i also make sure i link the website too but um i will be going i will be coloring my coloring book at the park and then after i leave the park i will be going to get dinner at this sushi place i've been wanting to try so i'm super excited about that and then last but not least i'm going to come back home and we're going to do a self-care nighttime kind of routine because y'all i've realized that i've received a lot of like skincare products and just um spa day products um from brands that i just really do not use like that South bad bitch, discreet shit, so ratchet. Call me JT, aka the soul snatcher. Okay. I'm with a booster, a scholar, and a pole dancer. Pussy nigga, call my phone, he won't get no answer. Nah. Fuck these niggas, fuck them. And fuck these hoes who you can't fuck with me. Fuck what a bitch told okay. you. Sexy black motherfucker. Yeah. Name on the wood, I'm watching Jimmy Butler. Since I came home, I've been killing every summer. Back real boss bitch, and I started as a runner. Like titties sitting pretty, and I'm looking like a snack. 40 inch bust down, we know that bitch black. I'm pretty than a motherfucker. Hoes be looking okay. She think that she fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? He said he ain't fucking around. Do not 
not disturbed, bitch, I'm with my nigga. Okay, style name, say in it's for my nigga. So I am finally ready. My makeup and hair is done. It came out cute. I got on this little shapewear dress that I got from the TikTok shop. Check out my TikTok so you can get the link to that if you guys want to purchase this dress. Um, it has shapewear like inside of it. So like it's very tight and fitting. I really love this though. Like I think that this definitely fit the vibes for today. Cute fun day out on a Friday day because I actually want to enjoy the sun and things like that because lately every time I've been going out I like I only go out at night so I get to enjoy the day today and I look cute so I decided on doing lunch at the sushi place and then going to the park to color and then I'll be heading back I am going to first stop and get um a bottle of wine so I can already have that um uh, for when I color and yeah it's gonna be a fun day I feel cute and I just look amazing okay hey you guys so I just pulled up to Kroger I'm about seven minutes away from the restaurant um and it's a restaurant I told y'all I was gonna go to so I haven't said it yet but y'all gonna see when I get there but yeah I stopped at Kroger before because I'm like it makes more sense for me to just go ahead and get whatever wine I'm gonna get because I'm trying to do like the wine picnic coloring my coloring book after I finish eating at the restaurant but I'm like I could just get me my wine before that way I don't have to buy a drink at the restaurant because why would I get wine then buy a drink at the restaurant that's just that's just doing too much plus um really i'm not condoning drinking and driving at all you guys um i am just trying to you know i was trying to do a little aesthetic you know the little wine picnic little you know kind of vibe i was trying to do that kind of vibe so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna see what they have in kroger so you guys i found what i was looking for i was really looking for these lime margarita mini made juices that's what I really want, but I ended up also seeing the Love is Wine Chardonnay from Love is Blonde, you guys. I've actually been watching Love is Wine UK, so I'm like, oh my gosh, this is, would be so perfect, but I kind of had my mindset on getting a mini made. So I'm trying to see which one I want to do. Um, I feel like I can always get this. I feel like this only comes out like a limited edition. So I'm probably gonna just go ahead and get the Love is Wine. Um, I already had it in my hand, y'all. I usually get Sutter Home um, Pink Moscato. This is like my favorite wine to get. That's usually what I get, but I'm definitely going to be trying the Love is Wine, Love is Blind, um, Chardonnay. And I feel like that's just fitting that is just fitting you guys put that's why i got 10 on my mind and i got heels i need me some jesus in my life amen okay guys so i just made it to the restaurant so let me turn the camera around so y'all can see where i'm at i'm at rock and roll sushi you guys so if y'all remember when i went to the stylist station i think this was in my last vlog i told y'all i really wanted to try rock and roll sushi so i am finally here you guys i once you start eating sushi you cannot stop and i didn't used to be a sushi girl until i, until I became pescatarian and i feel like you know obviously when you're like pescatarian vegan and stuff like that you know your diet becomes boring so i was like okay let me try um sushi because a lot of sushi is obviously made with seafood and i've been upset so i've never tried rock and roll sushi um i'm here and it is 322 um i poured me up a little bit of the love is wine chardonnay so i could be a little before i go in and i don't care what y'all say like i'm gonna take this to the park with me um and then yeah so pretty much that's just what today consists of um after i leave here obviously i'm gonna go to the park you know color sip my wine you guys and i ended up buying my flowers because i saw these flowers and they were on sale and i was like you know what i accomplished something i reached 10k on tiktok like that is an accomplishment and i just i feel so good today like i feel so blessed i thank god for just waking me up and this is what i tell you guys like 
sometimes you just have to get up and just make your day like i know sometimes we have days where we feel like you know it's too much to handle we feel like you know our back is up against the wall especially when you're chasing your dreams um like myself it's just it gets hard sometimes and today i was like and i and i had already planned um i've been planning all week i'm like friday i'm gonna take myself on a solo date i'm gonna have fun i'm not waiting for a man to take me on a date i'm gonna go on my own because i love myself like i'm so proud of myself i'm such a strong person i'm trying not to get emotional <laughs> yeah i'm not trying to get emotional but i'm just so proud of myself like the fact that I'm able to just get up in every day and just do the things I love to do. You know, I pray for this. I pray for this. And I'm so excited what to I'm so excited to see what God has in store for me because I don't know. You know, I put pretty much my whole life into God's hands. So every day I wake up, I do the best that I can do, and that's all I can do. That's that's it. You know, um I definitely have faith, but I also know that faith without works is dead. So I'm still going to get up every, each and every day and make this a bit. So that's why I got myself the, these flowers. I'm giving myself these flowers because I don't have to wait for anybody, not even just a man. I don't have to wait for anybody to give me flowers. I know that I have put in a lot of work. I have sacrificed a lot and I know that I have just so much more to go and i'm just super excited to see what the future holds so yes cheers to that i'm gonna go ahead and go in you guys and i will see you in the restaurant hey talking shit put a marker to this bitch she's so counterfeit i'm the baddie in the ceo got the bitches shaking ass and videos in a cut getting high with an emo hoe we in wrong way you bitches in dark chat oh whoa I'm pretty than a motherfucker, hoes be looking okay She think that she's fucking with me, is this bitch okay? You can say he Okay, y'all, I just ordered I'm so ready for my food to get here I'm so ready for my food to get here I haven't had sushi, it's been like a couple of weeks like a couple of weeks but y'all it was so cute in here like i would love to come back at night one time like to see it all lit up but it's really cute out loud because y'all know like, out loud like so cute okay so i got some crispy one time deal Shaking ass and videos in a cut, getting high with an emo hoe. We in wrong way, you bitches in dark chat. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'm pretty than a motherfucker. Hope be looking okay. She think that she's fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? He say he ain't fucking around. I look at him like, okay, I used to be down bad, but now a bitch okay. I'm pretty than a motherfucker. Hope be looking okay. She think that she's fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? He say he ain't fucking around. I Y'all, rock and roll sushi. Number one, it was so good. Like, that's probably like my favorite sushi place. So, I will definitely be back. I will definitely be back for sure. It was so cute in there, you guys. Like, I love the whole rock star theme. Like, I already kind of figured from their website they had like a rock star theme and obviously rock and roll sushi. But, like, it was well decorated. Like, the bathroom, I am definitely considering doing my, my new bathroom when I get my new place. It would definitely look something like that. Because that shit ate. Like, that shit ate down. Like, it was cute as fucking there. But, um, overall, you guys, my day has been going good so far. I just made it to the park. And I want to try to find these little swings to sit at. But if not, I could really just sit at this bench. But it's like some ducks right here. Low-key kind of scared. But, um... <laughs> I am here at this park, and of course, like I said, I'm going to color. I got my wine. 
and my flowers and stuff like that and yeah it was overall cute oh yeah i forgot to tell y'all um when i was i forgot to tell y'all when i was in the restaurant and you know i was vlogging and making a tiktok right so i'm using like both my camera and my phone so one of the workers came up to me she was like oh my gosh are you vlogging i was like yeah I'm, and i'm doing the tiktok she was like oh my gosh she was like that is so cool she was like are you doing a mukbang i'm like no i'm not doing a mukbang babe and then she was just she was just so sweet and she was like oh my gosh i never met a famous person i said like, girl i ain't famous I ain't famous yeah i ain't famous yeah it's coming though it's coming. That's why I should have told her. I honestly should have told her I was on the show, which I really was on the show. But I really should have just told her and to just play into it. Like, one day, I want to go somewhere and, like, cosplay, like, I don't know, a singer from a different country. I don't know. Because people would never know. Like, she really thought I was famous, which, you know... I'm popular, I'll, I'll, I'll say. But, like, I mean, I might be a little popular, but, like, as far as famous, like... <laughs> I should have said, yeah, girl, I'm famous. Sometimes you got to speak it into existence, though. Honestly, you got to speak it into existence. But, um, yeah, I'm here at the park. It is exactly 501. I'm probably going to stay here for about, like, a, a little over an hour because I'm it's probably not as hot so it really just depends on how i feel how hot i get i'm so glad i didn't put on a wig and i kept my ponytail up because i just know for a fact i'm going to be hot so i'm gonna find somewhere to sit and set up so we can officially take the so we can officially color in the book so y'all look at my setup it's so cute i tried to make it look cute for the camera obviously Make sure y'all shop at LLC.org for this coloring book. I'm going to see which page I want to do. It's so gorgeous outside. And it feels good, y'all. As y'all can see, it's a little um, windy. If y'all can kind of see, like, y'all can actually hear the wind. I'm going to put my wig on so y'all can hear me clearly. But, yeah, it's a little bit windy, so I like this. It's not so hot. I came, honestly, at the perfect time. I was like... But I also didn't want to come too late because um, once the sun starts setting, they do close. So, they're going to kick you out. So, um, it is, like I said, 5. I'm about to kick up. You guys, color in my coloring book. Um, and, yeah. I'm going to do, like, another wine chit-chat in my coloring book, um, too. And, like, I'm going to do, like, another video. But, yeah, let's, let's have some fun. I'm going to come back to y'all um once i start i have to set up for my phone y'all i'm actually it's crazy because like i'm chilling but i'm still working <laughs> matters so that's the one i will be coloring today and i'm just gonna do all different colors but y'all i did forget something important i forgot my um folder that i put under it the markers that i have they don't necessarily bleed but i just like to be on the safe side so i'm probably going to take this little plastic bag and possibly maybe if i could put it under there that's all i got right now i just gotta make it work it should smell good it smell great See, look, the little bag is coming up, y'all. I'm trying to make this, like, look really cute. I definitely need a new tripod, y'all. Like, okay. Okay, let's see. What color should the M be? The M should be, like, I'm going to try to match the color. Oops. I'm going to try to match the color with the, um with the first with the letter so m i think of maroon so i'm gonna use a red wine i'm gonna use the tip Like, I don't even feel like I'm in my city. Like, I feel like I'm on the beach. Because really what it 
it was was I tried a restaurant I never did before. And I, I've came here before, but I'm a little tipsy, so it feel good. I got my flowers. And yeah, I'm just enjoying this wind, coloring. I might not even finish coloring today, honestly. I'm just enjoying the, the ambiance. Y'all, it's so crazy. It What's so crazy is that, like, I really enjoy this. Like, I never thought I would enjoy going out alone as much as I do. Like, people make it seem like solo dates is just, like, so boring, not fun. But, y'all, this has literally been a fun day. And I'm still having fun. I'm still out here. And I just, I don't know. I feel so good. And I feel like overall like if you want to like start like solo dating yourself just start like don't think too hard about it i feel like a lot of people don't do solo dates because they think too hard like oh i don't want to go out by myself y'all i've been solo dating ever since i started my healing journey which was um a little over two years ago um in 2022 that's when I started solo dating because I had, y'all, I never, like, went anywhere by myself. Like, I always went somewhere either on a date or with a friend. Like, I was just always with my friends. And so now that, like, you know, I'm able to, now that I'm able to, like, go places. Y'all, let me get my, um, wind cover. Sorry, y'all. There you go. Now that I'm able to like go places by myself and just enjoy my own company, it just feels good. And coloring looks so cute. I might finish it. I'm having a good time. I'm about to change my battery because this battery is about to die. I'm with a booster, scholar, and a pole dancer. Pussy nigga, call my phone, he won't get no answer. Fuck these niggas, fuck them. And fuck these hoes who you can't fuck with me. Fuck what a bitch told okay. you. Sexy black motherfucker. Yeah. He came on the wood, I'm watching Jimmy Butler. Since I came home, I've been killing every summer. Back real boss bitch, and I started as a runner. My titties sitting pretty, and I'm looking like a snack. 40 inch bust down, we know that bitch black. I'm pretty than a motherfucker. Hugs me looking okay. She think that she's fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? He said he ain't fucking around. Okay, y'all, I'm back in the car. It is currently 7 o'clock. Literally 7 o'clock on the dot, y'all. I was there for about a couple hours. Uh, it was so peaceful. Once I was done filming my content and coloring my page and my coloring book, I was like, I just want to sit here, listen to some music, and kind of just close my eyes and just meditate. So that's pretty much what I did for, like, literally an hour and a half, like probably like an hour because i feel like it took me an hour to even color the page y'all because the wind was winding okay it was very windy outside and i forgot i left my folder that's what i was trying to tell y'all when i was out there i forgot i left my folder that i put because um the markers that i have are very very strong however the page like it doesn't really bleed through it bleeds through just a little bit but it's thick enough to where it's not like bad so i have to use the little plastic bag and it was just giving me a hard time with the wind it was just a lot going on it's cute obviously i needed to color it a little bit better i was thinking that it would be better to use the fine lines to color it like in the on the outside but honestly it was best to use the wider side and i just I, it was a lot of trial and error but it's cute i don't think it looks so bad take a little thumbnail like i just needed this day to just tell myself that it's go it's okay it's gonna be okay like you're still gonna accomplish all the things and i just want to be so vulnerable on here um i know sometimes maybe when you're watching my channel it probably gets tiring because maybe i'm still saying the same things but i love to document this because one day because i know that this isn't i know that my life isn't going to be like this forever like i know that i am going to 
see all of my blessings and all the fruits of my labor coming to fruition and to come to pass like i know all of that is going to happen so i just love well now i'm just starting to love the journey now i'm starting to enjoy documenting this and documenting the journey because i know one day i'll be able to look back and say you did exactly what you said you were going to do and even just when i had made a post on instagram i posted like Oh, you know, every day feels like Christmas because I get like a lot of PR and brand packages sent to the house every day, y'all. Like, literally every day something is coming. So, I'm like literally getting so much stuff and I had put it on Instagram. And then somebody had messaged me and was like, oh my gosh, like, you really manifested this for yourself. Like, that's dope. Like, you know, because people just remember me saying how, like, yeah, like, I'm finna take content series. This my thing. Like, um, I'm an actress. This is my thing. And it's like, people just know. It's, you know, people are very supportive and they know how much this means to me. So, it feels good to know that, like, I have real support, like, from people that I know. Because that was somebody I knew. And people that I don't know, like, the comments that I get. People just love my vulnerability. So, I just want to continue being vulnerable. Like I said, I know sometimes, like, you probably like, dang, like, some people probably be, like, watching my stuff, like, dang, like, it feels like she always going through somewhere she's never happy and that's not the case like i'm very happy with my situation i'm okay with how things played out it's just you know i ha i have to grieve or i had to because i'm kind of you know getting over it now but i had to grieve that person who i thought i would be by this age so that is very um you know difficult to come to terms with sometimes and I know that it's going to be okay. Like, I know that it's going to be okay. I'm not, like, 100%, like, unhappy. I'm actually not unhappy at all. I'm actually very happy. It's just, I guess, kind of just getting over. You know how, like, you be, oh, you know how it's like, you know you can't change something and you know everything going to be okay, but it's like you just can't get over it. You just be like, dang, like, dang. Like, you just, I just can't stop thinking about it, basically. So, um that's just why i took this time to kind of like just relax ease my mind um and just come and do something out of the norm because i haven't really been on i haven't been on the solo day in a while and usually i go on solo dates often so i was in pretty i was in the funk i was in the funk and i'm gonna get better you guys i just have to start enjoying my own company and just appreciating myself showing myself gratitude and as I continue to get closer with God, what I realize is that this is all a part of the plan. Like, this is all a part of the plan. Like, I know looking around me, I feel like, I feel like, I don't even know the words to say. Like, I just feel, confused <laughs> lost lost like i don't know what my next step is in life and i know i'm on the right path but when you're truly walking with god you really have to cast all your worries onto him and so i guess that's like really the main thing i've been battling with like trying to really let go and let God because I'm a person that loves control I love to control everything in my life um but there are certain things you can't control in your life and I think this path that I am longing for is God's path for me God's divine will for me like truly but i see my camera about to overheat so what i'm about to do is get off but i just really wanted to just kind of open up to you guys and just let you guys know that um i'm not going anywhere you guys like i said we'll be re receiving the video every week and um yeah everything's gonna be okay <laughs> everything is gonna be okay and if you're battling or going through anything i just mentioned understand that you're not alone. God's got you. Just pray. Keep going. Faith without work is dead. So keep putting one foot in front of the other and take baby steps. I'll see y'all when it's time to do the skincare routine. <laughs>